Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Welcome to Jamiro Golf Estates. We're on the fire course and we're heading to the back tees for a little nine hole challenge. And today's video is without woods. Okay, so what score can I shoot for nine holes without woods? Now this is a massive golf course. It's 3,790 yards off the back tees for nine holes. Okay, so that's an over seven and a half thousand yard golf course. This course is massive off the back tees, but the reason I'm doing it off there, I want to try and make it so it's representative of kind of the, the let's say the average golfer, the 15 to 20 handicapper. So particularly for those golfers that don't feel like they can use a driver because it creates more problems than good. I personally think that if you can get the driver away, even if it's a bad strike, it's still going to be just as good as that good iron shot, that good five iron shot off the tee. Or when you hit the bad iron shot compared to a bad iron, uh, bad driver shot, it's still going to be a lot better with the driver. The driver's still going to travel. The one thing we need to figure out with the driver is dispersion. Fully aware that it's the hardest golf club in the bag to consistently use to hit the fairway with to get the distance with but I think if we can get this club kind of consistently just in and around the fairway and the rough doesn't have to be down the middle of the fairway 250 yards it can be in the fairway or in the rough at 200 yards it's still going to be better than you hitting the five iron off the tee and if when you miss hit that five iron you've now only hit it maybe 130 140 and that hole now is just absolutely huge and almost unplayable so I think Personally, irons off the tee, the highest iron in my golf bag is gonna be the four iron, okay? So that I think for nine holes, looking at the yardages on this golf course, if I beat, if I break 40, I'll be ecstatic. I'm expecting a 42, which will be six over par. There's one hole, it's 550 yards. I've just realized where the wind is blowing and it's gonna be into wind. So that hole could take about four hours. So <laughs> stay tuned. I'm gonna fly through the video. So I'm not gonna talk through every single shot. I'm gonna kind of do a bit of a recap on it after every hole or after every couple of holes, talk about the shots that I've had to try and hit, the clubs I've had to try and use, the difficulty I've had with trying to hit a long iron into greens. And then if I'm missing greens or I can't reach, I've had to lay up and then hit a pitch shot. Now the pressure's on my pitching and my putting. It's gonna be quite a stressful one but stay tuned and let's see what score we can shoot A little bit downwind. I've still got the five iron because all the danger is short of the green. Try and get to the middle of the green again. All these long irons. Right, first bogey of the round. And to be honest, the par threes, I was hoping that they'd be the ones where I can make my pars, because I'm not having to rely on distance off the tee, but airmailed the green with a five iron from 208, which hindsight, yeah, probably a stupid club selection. Um, decent chip, just overhit it, and yeah, missed the butt, <laughs> basically. Right, let's see if I can try and find a birdie somewhere.
party time. Three holes in, one over par. Um, oh, disappointed actually overall. Hit a very, very well struck first shot on the second. Miss club myself. Um, the, the exact same yardage in for my second there on the third hole. Exactly the same yardage, hit one club less and it's worked out absolutely perfect. However, I cannot believe I just missed that putt. So one over par through three. Next three holes are gonna be tough. Next one might be okay because it's a little bit downwind but it's normally quite long. Par five afterwards is going to be an absolute monster. It's about 550 or 560 or so into wind. It's going to be an absolute monstrosity. So let's see how we do. Right, so three hole summary. Uh, last hole was probably one of the probably one of the hardest holes I've played. It was over 400, well 400 yards, but it was uphill into wind. Now I didn't hit my tee shot in a in a great way. I kind of gone, went after the distance so much that hitting it into wind creates, or obviously hitting it hard into wind creates a lot of backspin. Ball goes high, so I just about made the fairway. Which at first I'm thinking that's going to be so tough to get up to that green, and it was into wind, 210 yards. Up, uphill to the flag, but I've kind of had to bring myself back away from trying to hit the ball as far as I possibly can and go into the type of shot I would normally play. So I pulled the four iron back out from five iron distance, ball position in the middle of my stance, and just tried to hit a real hard but low punch shot and I absolutely, I nailed it. The strike was absolutely perfect. So happy with how the last hole went. Bit unfortunate with the par five, uh, 606 yards. Not really much I can do about that with a with a four iron only in my hand. Um, obviously puts a lot of pressure on that 70 yard shot, 77 yard shot into the green. So again, difficult from that sort of yardage. If I don't have the driver, I'm just so obsessed with trying to make sure I get so much distance out of the shot. Now, with that comes some poor strikes. And I've been lucky so far today that I've hit the ball. I've hit the ball unbelievable, to be honest. I don't. I think I've missed the middle of the club face yet, which when you're trying to hit the ball as hard as you can, I think it's quite rare. So I'm happy with how that's going, 
but it is difficult, it's so stressful, it puts so much strain on the game. Like, I, how often can I hit four iron, four ten into wind uphill, hit it to pin high 25 feet? It's not going to be very often. That's a that's a that's a bit of a freak shot to be. I definitely could not rely on doing that every time I play that hole. In future, I'm 100% always going to be hitting driver or three wood off the tee and leaving myself with a wedge in or a nine iron or an eight iron or something like that. So the tee shots is proving the tee shots are proving valuable. I'm okay so far. I'm two over par with three to play. This hole here is 536 yards, so it's a long, long par five little bit downwind and off the right so it's going to be helping me a little bit i still won't be able to reach it in two but i'll be definitely very close for three oh sorry close for two getting up there for three and just trying to make my birdie try and get one back if i can par three after that to follow and the ninth hole is gonna be quite tricky as well that's gonna be around about 400 yards maybe a little bit more actually into wind so a lot of pressure on this tee shot so far the four iron's been absolutely amazing i'm striking it incredibly well but it's tough, it's stressful, it's difficult. Without the driver, miss the middle of the club face, I'm gonna, you're going to lose 30, 40 yards like that. Good. Chances. Not much easier, 198 yards into the wind. About four, five, and six. It's not five, it's gonna be a little punchy four. This four iron's had a lot of view from there. Worst shot of the day. Worst shot of the day. Say that. That's six foot, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, this bunker shot can only be shot of the day if I can convert a foot. Yards to go. Flag is at the very back. It's about a 30 yard green, anyway. Two yards to go. So, two ten. Clear the green side bunker. That's what I'm going for. That's two ten as well. Strike it. First miss hit of the day. Howie. Leave myself about 50 and that's more. Oh, the pressure of trying to hit a big shot. I feel like that was one of the first real examples of a miss hit from a shot where I needed to hit it absolutely perfect. Not gone far enough off the tee to try and hit the green. Miss hit it, I've still got 90 yards to the flag. I've actually only hit, I've miss hit it. I've only hit it like 170. So it's just not gone far enough because of the pressure of trying to hit a powerful shot, a hard shot out the middle of the screws for four iron, just makes it so difficult. We've got 90 yards, about 54 degrees. Wind's into it off the left. Two tier green, so I have to get it up there. It has to travel 90 yards. And if it's short, it could come right down. Right down. Good for 
distance. Good slope from left to right, so it could be okay, we'll see. Break portal, come on. I've missed today that was massive that was good right tough vlog that so I've played the I've played the yardages as the absolute fullest they can go so 3,700 yards for nine holes which is a mammoth of a golf course and it's windy which for Dubai which this is quite windy um, the idea is to get across the you're putting so much pressure on your game by not getting as far as you can off the tee now I fully understand that I fully accept that golfers do struggle with driver However, I do, still do think that a bad drive is much better than a miss hit with a four iron or a five iron off the, off the tee. You hit the four iron or five iron perfect, fair enough, but you've got to do it for, for nine holes. I think I've just demonstrated you can't do that. Today, genuinely, is probably the best I've hit the golf ball for consistently with long irons ever. But as it got towards the end there, I've hit a poor four iron off the tee. Well, no, four iron was okay off the tee really poor four iron for my second shot because I knew that I needed every single bit of it to get over this green side bunker and get myself onto the green and I've caught it so far off the top I've only hit it 160 so I have a massive miss hit with the four iron there for the approach shot thankfully I've hit a decent wedge and so happy so so happy the putt's dropped so I've finished three over par I'm happy with the score I'm very happy with the score but it felt really stressful it felt difficult from start to finish the pressure of trying to hit that first shot perfect to set myself up to then have to hit a second shot with a similar iron perfect to hit the green and try and control it was 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 hard it was actually much harder than i expected it to be so my advice from this video is if you can't hit your driver get to the driving range learn how to hit it hit a type of shot even if it turns out to be a high cut or a low hook or a low pull hit a, find a consistent shape of shot because that driver will hit the ball further than a four iron or a five iron and if you duff both clubs, if you duff your driver and duff your five iron or a four iron, the driver duff shot will still be better, should still be better than the four iron. So definitely get yourself down, try and hit the driver, try and get the ball off the tee because it's going to take so much stress off your par saves for putting, your short game, your pitching, your chipping. And it's also going to take a lot of stress off that second shot. So do go down, get that driver going because it is for me, and especially now after this, the most important golf club in the golf bag for sure guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video uh if you have please hit that like button please comment below as well like is, 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 you struggle with the driver and is this video helpful for you in kind of figuring out maybe your game plan moving forwards and also please do subscribe to the channel and from a wintry dubai see you soon